The lithium sulfur battery is a type of rechargeable battery, notable for its high energy density. The low atomic weight of lithium and moderate weight of sulfur means that Li-S batteries are relatively light. They were used on the longest and highest altitude solar-powered aeroplane flight in August 2008. Lithium sulfur batteries may succeed lithium ion cells because of their higher energy density and reduced cost from the use of sulfur. Currently the best Li-S batteries offer specific energies on the order of 500 watt hours per kilogram, significantly better than most lithium ion batteries which are in the 150 to 200 range. Li-S batteries with up to 1,500 charge and discharge cycles have been demonstrated. As of early 2014 none were commercially available. Chemistry Chemical processes in the Li-S cell include lithium dissolution from the anode surface during discharge, and reverse lithium plating to the anode while charging. This contrasts with conventional lithium ion cells, where the lithium ions are intercalated in the anode and cathodes. Each sulfur atom can host two lithium ions. Typically, lithium-ion batteries accommodate only 0.5-0.7 lithium ions per host atom. Consequently, Li-S allows for a much higher lithium storage density. Polysulfides are reduced on the cathode surface in sequence while the cell is discharging. S8 Li-2 S8 Li-2 S6 Li-2 S4 Li-2 S3 across a porous diffusion separator, sulfur polymers form at the cathode as the cell charges. Li-2 S Li-2 S2 Li-2 S3 Li-2 S4 Li-2 S6 Li-2 S8 S8 These reactions are analogous to those in the sodium sulfur battery. Most use a carbon, sulfur cathode and a lithium anode. Sulfur is very cheap, but has practically no electroconductivity. 5 times 10 minus 30 SCM minus 1 at 25 degrees Celsius. A carbon coating provides the missing electroconductivity. Carbon nanofibers provide an effective electron conduction path and structural integrity, at the disadvantage of higher cost. One problem with the lithium sulfur design is that when the sulfur in the cathode absorbs lithium, volume expansion of the Li excess compositions happens, and predicted volume expansion of Li-2S is nearly 80% of the volume of the original sulfur. This causes large mechanical stresses on the cathode, which is a major cause of rapid degradation. This process reduces the contact between the carbon and the sulfur, and prevents the flow of lithium ions to the sulfur surface. Mechanical properties of the lithiated sulfur compounds are strongly contingent on the lithium content, and with increasing lithium content, the strength of lithiated sulfur compounds improves, although this increment is not linear with lithiation. One of the primary shortfalls of most Li-S cells is unwanted reactions with the electrolytes. While S and Li-2S are relatively insoluble in most electrolytes, many intermediate polysulfides are not. Dissolving Li-2SN into electrolytes causes irreversible loss of active sulfur. Use of highly reactive lithium as a negative electrode causes dissociation of most of the commonly used ether-type electrolytes. Use of a protective layer in the anode surface has been studied to improve cell safety, i.e., using Teflon coating showed improvement in the electrolyte stability, LiPON, Li3N also exhibited promising performance. Safety. Because of the high potential energy density and the nonlinear discharge and charging response of the cell, a microcontroller and other safety circuitry is sometimes used along with voltage regulators to manage cell operation and prevent rapid discharge. Research. Commercialization. So far very few companies, if any, have been able to commercialize the technology on an industrial scale as of October 2015. Some companies however, such as Tucson, Arizona-based Cyan Power have partnered with others such as Airbus Defense and Space in order to test their lithium sulfur battery technology. Airbus Defense and Space successfully launched their prototype high-altitude pseudo-satellite aircraft which was powered by solar energy during the 
day and buy such lithium sulfur batteries at night in real life conditions during an 11 day flight. The batteries used in the test flight utilize Cyan Power's high specific energy LES cells, which provide 350 watt hours per kilogram. Other companies, such as England based Oxus Energy Limited, have also developed prototype lithium sulfur batteries, which are currently operating in small scale commercial test applications. Oxus plans to sell its energy storage batteries in 2016. Sony, which also commercialized the first lithium-ion battery, plans to introduce lithium-sulfur batteries to the market in 2020.